I've spent most of my adult life being a, a very strong supporter, an outspoken supporter of the death penalty. I was a prosecutor back in the mid-1980s. In fact, I was the DA in the seventh largest city uh, in the United States, the district attorney, and uh, which is an elected position. And I prosecuted uh, capital murder cases. And every case that I prosecuted when I was DA in San Antonio, Texas, resulted not only in a conviction, but also an execution. And so I'm unique in the sense that there really aren't any other former elected prosecutors in the United States who oppose the death penalty today. Uh, and based on my personal experience with the, with the criminal justice system, I'm an outspoken opponent of the death penalty today. And at a personal level, uh, part of the reason why I find myself as committed as I am to the abolition of the death penalty is that uh, back in 2005, one of the cases that I prosecuted uh, was questioned. Serious questions were raised by the Houston Chronicle, one of our major newspapers, about whether Reuben Cantu, uh, who was prosecuted and, and executed, uh, whether he might well have been innocent. Reuben Cantu received what what anyone in America would consider to be a perfect trial. He had a fine defense lawyer. Uh, the prosecution was responsible. Uh, he had a good judge who applied the law fairly. And the only thing that the jury did was what we asked them to do. They convicted him. We were certain that he was guilty. And, uh, and so because we were certain that he was guilty and questions have been raised in that case, um, I, I wonder um, late at night uh, about the other cases. There's nothing that's quite as haunting to a prosecutor who takes his responsibilities seriously and who tries to do a good job than the possibility of convicting someone who is, uh, who is innocent. And, uh, and so I'm haunted by the, uh, by the possibility that there may have been others. My experience with the Reuben Cantu case is a, is a classic example. Uh, the only people that were involved in the prosecution of that case were good, dedicated, hardworking people who were doing their best to get it right. And we may well have gotten it right, but we don't know that today because of the fact that, that our star witness, 20 years later, recanted his testimony and, and has raised very serious questions. Now, if he's telling the truth today, if in fact Reuben Cantu did not commit the murder, as he claims today, then what that means is that this, this group of dedicated people simply didn't get it right. And, and, and the bottom line for me in death penalty cases is that unless, unless we can ensure that the innocent will be, will be protected, which is what our system promises, uh, which we can't do today in death penalty cases, that we have to, we have to scrap that part of our system. We have, to, we have to say that the death penalty is a vestige of our past.